hello students here i'm going to discuss one of the important communication systems question which is given in gate 2015 for two marks yes this question here is about finding the conditional probability okay yes let's read the question uh, the input x to binary symmetric channel bsc means shown in the figure um, is one with probability of find it so the input here binary symmetric channel is denoting with x here and that x value is 1 with the probability point 8 yes it is given here so this uh, channel diagram this is called as channel diagram yes it is given in the question itself yes the input to the binary symmetric channel is x here so binary uh, channel means okay here the input will be 0 and 1 the output is also going to be 0 and 1 binary system means yes what is the probability of x equals to 1 is given as point 8 then of course probability of x equals 0 obviously will be point 2 we can expect and the crossover probability is uh, 1 by 7 1 upon 7 crossover probability also can be called as bit error probability or transition probability yes p1 by 0 and p0 by 1 so these probabilities will be called as bit error probabilities or crossover probabilities or transition probabilities yes this channel is binary symmetric channel and for binary symmetric channel p1 by 0 equals to p0 by 1 and that is given how much here 1 upon 7 yes this is a kind of famous statement in framing the questions like for binary symmetric channel crossover probability is um, 1 by 7 or a bit error probability or transition probability is 1 by 7 means so what um, is mentioned in the question indirectly is p 1 by 0 equals to p 0 by 1 equals to 1 by 7 what it means is yes so the probability of transmitted 0 received as 1 and transmitted 1 received as 0 is same that is 1 by 7 yes if transmitted 0 to be received as 1 probability 1 by 7 then what is the probability of transmitted 0 received as 0 that is the remaining probability that is 6 by 7 you can understand okay so this channel diagram is given in the question but even this channel diagram is not mentioned in the question you should be in a position to form this channel diagram and it's easy only you can easily plot that yes what is the probability of transmitted one received as zero is one by seven then what is the probability of transmitted one received as one remaining probability that is six by seven of course okay yes and what you have to find here is if the received bit y is equal to zero the conditional probability that one was transmitted is we have to find out yes so what we know here is the received Okay, bit y is equal to 0 okay so what we know what we knew that we have to mention in the denominator okay what we knew here is so y is equal to 0 it is what we knew here and that is mentioned received bit y is equal to 0 so we know that okay the received bit y is equal to 0 we already knew this this is given in the question so what we knew already that we have to mention in the denominator then we have to find conditional probability that one was transmitted from the source so then what is the conditional probability that one was transmitted from the source okay means x equals to one so what is the probability of x equals to one when we knew that y is equal to zero we have to find it when we knew that y is equal to zero then what is the probability for one transmitted from the source we have to find out yes see this to receive 0 at the receiver side y is equal to 0 means okay so to okay, to receive 0 at the receiver side okay so two possibilities will be there what are the two possibilities okay 0 can be transmitted from the source that one can be transmitted from the source this received 0 may be due to transmitted 0 from the source or may be due to transmitted 1 from the source but what we have to find here is okay so uh, when 0 received at the receiver side what is the probability of this received 0 is due to transmitted 1 from the source we have to find out 
So what is the probability of okay this received zero is due to transmitted one from the source we have to find out okay uh, uh, my suggestion when dealing with binary system is okay so use the notations like it is x1 x2 y1 by 2 okay if you don't use these notations okay you will you will get confused okay in in using the notations in in solving the question uh, because here source side 0 1 is there receiver side is also 0 and 1 is there so to show the difference okay is, is that 0 is 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 a transmitted 0 or received 0 so to show the difference okay between this 0 and 1 and this 0 and 1 so my suggestion is use the notations like x1 x2 and y1 y2 so according to the notations used okay so what we have to find here is when y is equal to 0 means when the received symbol is y1 okay. then what is the probability for one transmitted from the source means what is the probability for x2 transmitted from the source we have to find out okay so p x2 by y1 we have to find out okay when the received symbol is y1 okay so what is the probability that x2 transmitted from the source we have to find out so one way to solve this question is so it is one of the probability element of p x by y matrix it is one of the probability elements of p x by y matrix so let's try to get p x by y matrix first Let, let's find p x by y matrix okay so how to get p x by y matrix is P x comma y upon P y diagonal. This is how you can find P x by y. So let's find P x comma y. This is called a giant probability matrix. It is P x diagonal into P y by x okay the giant probability matrix always associated with the diagonal matrix yes you can see the giant probability matrix always associated with the diagonal matrix okay so p y by x let me write p y by x matrix this p y by x matrix is also called as channel matrix conditional probability matrix or channel matrix so whenever you are writing a matrix use this notations x1 x2 transmitted y1 y2 received if you don't use this notations you will get confused just from this channel diagram you can easily write this channel matrix p y by x matrix you can easily write so what is the probability of transmitted x received as y okay transmitted x1 received as y1 what the probability 6 by 7 and probability of transmitted x1 received as y2 this is 1 by 7 now x2 received as y1 1 by 7 and x2 received as y2 this is 6 by 7 okay this is this p y by x okay then p x comma y matrix is So p x diagonal okay times to p y by x so what is p x matrix i'm writing let me write here and p x matrix p x is the row matrix what is p x1 p x1 is 0 0.2 p x2 is 0 0.8 p x1 means probability of x equals you know is 0 0.2 p x1 is 0 0.2 p x2 is 0 0.8 Point 2 means this is I'm writing 2 upon 10. Point 8 means I'm writing for my convenience 8 upon 10. I'm writing okay. Yeah, so multiplying with diagonal matrix means okay, it is simply row by row multiplication or column by column multiplication. You can understand okay, or otherwise, uh, I mean to say, so multiplying p y by x 
with px diagonal means it is simply row by row multiplication multiply first row elements with px1 and multiply second row elements with px2 okay okay uh, otherwise you can write px the diagonal matrix you can write okay then multiply with p by x you can do in that way also otherwise the shortcut is dealing with px diagonal means that is simply performing row by row operation py diagonal means performing column by column operation you can understand multiplying with px diagonal means it is row by row multiplication so multiply the first row elements of py by x first row elements with px1 means 2 by 10 multiply second row elements with px2 means 8 by 10 okay. so if you multiply first row elements with px1 2 by 10 so this will be 12 by 70 and this is so if you multiply with 2 upon 10 this is 2 by 70 multiply second row elements with px2 so it is 8 upon 70 and this is so multiply second row elements with px2 multiply with 8 by 10 so 40 8 by 70 and use this notations otherwise you will get x1 x2 y1 y2 and one thing in p x comma y matrix the total sum of elements total sum of elements in p x comma y matrix will be equals to one okay that is one standard result yes if you sum all these elements definitely you will get one okay yes now uh, now i have to get p y elements also once you have px comma y so from this px comma y you can get px elements and py elements you can get yes so adding the row elements will give you px elements adding the column elements will give you py elements so if you add the column elements okay so it is 20 upon 70 and this is 50 upon 70 so what you see here so these are py elements only you have to understand so this py1 and this is py2 and adding the row elements of course will give you px elements okay yes so i'm writing here itself so p y element will be okay so this is py is also row matrix only px is row matrix py is also row matrix only. the elements are 20 upon 70 and 50 upon 70 this is py now yes i have to p x by y let me continue here that's a better yes i'm going to write p x by my matrix so p x comma y upon p y diagonal so this is p x comma y upon p y diagonal dealing with py diagonal means as i said it is performing column by column operation and dividing with py diagonal means it is simply column by column division you have to understand so divide first column elements with py1 py1 means with 20 upon 70 and divide second column elements with py2 py2 means it is 50 by 70 50 upon 70 okay yes i'm writing directly so divide first column elements with py1 py1 means 20 upon 70 so this element and this this element both elements you have to divide with 20 upon 70 if you divide this with 20 upon 70 that is 12 by 20 and this is so divide this with py1 that is 8 upon 20 divide second column elements with py2 so this is 2 upon 50 and this is 48 upon 50 and map like this otherwise you will get confused x1 x2 y1 y2 okay it's one thing it's one observation in p x by y matrix some of the elements of each column will be one okay in p x by y matrix some of the elements of each column will be one and px comma y matrix the total sum of elements will be one 
and in p y by x matrix actually sum of the elements of each row will be one actually sum of the elements of each row will be one here sum of the elements of each column will be one and what you have to find yes you have to find p x2 by y1 okay so this is once you got p x by y matrix then you can find p x by y elements each of these p x by y elements you can directly write so what is p x2 by y1 so p x2 by y1 okay p x2 by y1 is 8 upon 20 it is 0. 0.4 okay that will be the answer this is method one is is a bit is, is a bit conventional method here so method two this is suggestible for objective examination this method too like by using bayes theorem you can find this individual element this individual elements of p x by y matrix directly you can get directly you can get this individual element how you can get is yes here you have to find p x 2 by y 1 this is p x 2 by y 1 we have to find out so it is simply okay now yes so the numerator element is p x two base theorem by using base theorem the denominator element is p y one and flip it if you flip it y one by x p y one by x two flip it y one by x two the numerator element is p x two denominator element is p y one and flip it p y one by x two so p x two if you see so what is p x two eight upon ten this is this is okay and divided with p y one p y one how much you got this is p y one twenty upon seventy this is okay into p y one by x two so p y one by x two you can directly write from the channel diagram what is the probability of transmitted x two received as y one okay so what is the probability of transmitted x two received as y one so one upon seven this is okay so p yes, i need p y1 by x2 okay so p y1 by x2 1 upon 7 okay yes 1 by 7 okay so from this it will be equals to this is 8 upon 10 this is 70 by 20 into 1 by 7 okay then you can cancel things here if it goes to numerator 70 upon 20 so 7 10 yes. okay. and 10 10 also will be cancelled here yes so it is 8 upon 20 that is 0 0.40 So, in objective examination, uh, whenever the question is about finding p x by y elements, okay, so my suggestion is go for this Bayes theorem. This will be definitely a time saving method for you. Uh, and if you are unable to recall this Bayes theorem, then so to get p x by y elements, so try to get p x by y matrix first. So, so from that matrix, then you can easily write. Uh, so the individual elements of px by y matrix you can directly write okay yeah thank you